yeah. So, okay. Keisha, sorry for interrupting. Um, do you want to keep going? Okay. So, yeah, I was just saying that I imagine the ruling class is also entertained. And since no one is, you know, actually listening, it actually almost seems like more people double down. Even a lot of anarchists decided to jump on this, you know, fear boat and, you know, go for who they think is the lesser of the two evils. Um, so I'm just sitting back really like enjoying the show. <laughs> it's actually getting hilarious. It's so pathetic that it's hilarious. What? What's the situation right now in terms of anyone believing who has won and who has lost or if there's fraud or if there isn't? And... You know, for people to even trust the, the, the term Integrity of, of elections is non-existent. That's just not a thing. There is no integrity in elections. And if you, those people on one side talking about voter fraud, they were okay, you know, as long as it's the other side. If exactly you know, there, there's fraud within there's fraud within your own party. So why don't why are you upset about fraud going on, you know, at the next level? It just makes no sense to me. And, you know, we thought Gore won at one time. And this, this is just, I think, just to anger people. Yeah, I concur. I think it's just to anger people, too. It's part of part of the show, right? The, we knew this was going to yeah. happen. I mean, I, I didn't think it was just going to be like, oh, it's Tuesday. All of a sudden, there's a new president or, or the same one. No, it's... Well, I can uh, tell you from a galactic level or whatever you want to label these things that. Some of us, you know, we're, we're, this is Matt, like they keep saying on the Q board, you know, Q is a psychological, everything is psychological. Everything is. When you come on any kind of, and, and every day, it's just a program, but it's Matt, this whole Corona has multiple meanings. You know, the Corona, what there's like, when you can like, and I'll get, uh, so like when you have a device over your and you can't and you can't breathe and you can't oscillate electricity, it will stop the ascension process for the human being. So that's the corona because the corona is the discharge around the battery pack and of the blood cells. And so if there's if the, if the, if the blood cell it has a low charge, there's no there's no coronal discharge over the crown, you know, and then so you can't ascend. But then also, you know, the virus on another end, the virus is the system. The system is the virus because there's no such thing as a magical unicorn buck floating around in air that can be transmitted. Humans can't transmit anything but frequencies and ideas. So, and the word virus comes from a 1600 Latin term virulent or virulentus, which means poisonous, poisonous or corrupt matter. So they just condense these words, it's word magic. Now people are scared of a virus. Well, the poisonous corrupt matter is the whole system. And so, but you can't tell someone, hey, the system's corrupt. Three years ago, we all said there's a bunch of pedophiles around the planet and people thought we were, that we'd lost our fucking mind and they laughed at us. Now it's become a worldwide truth. You know, people once thought that you know, fluoride in the water was good for your teeth, and that's just conspiracy. Now it's, you know, so you, they have to experience the truth. They have to experience and see how bad it is getting, and then they're like, I want my old life back. No, you don't. They, it's just getting so bad now that they want to go back to that really shitty life. So it has to get even worse so they can be like, oh my God, I never want to experience that again. They, mm -hmm. We know how to take, we've been preparing for this our whole life. We've been going through this clearing of karma. Our whole 3D life was just meant for us to clear the space for us now. So we can help the humans and so we can be centered for them because if we don't have our shit together, then they'll, everything is doomed. If we can't, if, if you and Keisha and, and Elijah and Jody and Christy and all these galactic humans can't come together right now and have our shit together, then the humans, the ones that are asleep, 
they are our shadow self of us. They are our shadow selves. They are an aspect of us that is asleep. And those, that's just us on a soul level. And so how they're going to awaken is by us telling them what to do because they don't, they still live an unconscious life. It's like a dog. You have a treat. It knows to sit. They know what to do if they get a reward. And the reward is to let go, but they're not going to let go until they have something to reward them for letting go. And that's a better life. Mm. A dog, you know, there's certain dogs and animals as you grow, you know, like, like bugs, they instinctively just do things and they just do it off of impulse. Well, so do humans impulsively just do something. And then you learn the impulse and you don't act off the impulse. And so this is a psychological operation also for us to shut down the world. Mm. Yes. Yes, it is. That's how I'm taking it. <laughs> we have to have a cover story. It has to be a cover story for the bad guys and the good guys. Well, the good guys, we're not going to tell you it's a cover story because we're just going to blame it on the bad guys. Because we got to show people like, yeah, there is an enemy that's been covertly put in. Like, it's not an outside enemy. It's the whole world. There's people inside the whole system that are against the people. Mm. And that's the virus. The virus is fear, uncertainty, doubt, separation, and then all the systems that are built upon fear and greed <laughs> and manipulation. So everything has been built to serve the few and to profit off the many. And that's why me and Elijah were like, the whole system's got to go. And I'm sure Keisha's like, the whole system's got to go. And Jody's like, it, the, the, the system only works because of participation. That's it. It's belief and participation. That's it. Keisha, your thoughts? Yeah, that's it. There is no actual authority. There is yeah, there there is no actual authority. Um, no. Just some people that claimed that claimed it, and people exactly. that believe it. Um, it is a exactly. belief system. No it's a religious, dogmatic belief. And um, without willful subjects, there would be no ruling class. So I don't think it's it's a matter of overthrowing, you know, or getting rid of the system. I think it can only be ignored out of existence. Yeah, There's just exactly. no way to um, to remove them. They're not going to leave. I mean, the only other option would be to Jody, just you, you know that? line them up and and get yeah. rid of them. But you know, that's I don't think violence is an answer either. I just think we need to um, eliminate the illusion that these people are actually needed. Yeah, I think that's perfect. I mean, there's no sense, like, man cannot rule over man. You know, there is no physical laws. Only, just, everything is spiritual or, you know, non-physical. Everything is. So, like, just because a bunch of men came in and people and groups, entities, and corporate, whatever the heck they want to call themselves and label themselves, they don't have a, they don't have authority over another man. Like, we are born, like, on the Universal Declaration of Human Rights that was signed by every country or fast corporation, December 10th, 1948, says that every single, the first article says we are, every, every human being is born free. Because that's like a galactic codex. And they've been violating that and violating that and violating that. And then, but if people don't believe in that, then who cares? And then we're not free, right? It's a belief system like you should say. Right. Once we destroy the belief system. So there, there, there are always going to be those people that feel like. Are you there, Keisha? Yes, yes. I, I don't think we're going to um, be able to destroy the illusion for everyone. A lot of people really believe that they can't live without their masters. And there was a time, you know, when slavery supposedly ended and a lot of the slaves chose to stay on the plantation with their masters because they felt 
it was their best chance of survival. And I believe we're going to see that. Um, it, the, the movement, the status movement is growing. Um, I don't see it slowing down. I, I've, I've never seen anyone actually be able to eradicate any religion, especially one that is so widely held. Um, so I think we need to be prepared to simply separate ourselves from those people. Mm -hmm. That's all we can do. Like, I don't want to convince anyone their, to come they over. They love their services. Yeah, like we can't, it's not about convincing people. It's just aligning, people are going to align with us. We don't align with them. They align with us. See, it's like Foot Locker doesn't go to you. You go to Foot Locker. So we have to be at a, hold our values at a high level. And we have to help, hold ourselves as a council. And we just let the world continue. We don't fight it. We don't argue it. It's just, it, it just it's its own entity. And we break off as an own entity. And we, day by day, people will come seeking us because they want, like Jody said, I talk about all these conferences and retreats, but I haven't had them yet. And they're just looking for a way out. They'll come. They will pay. They will go. They just need us to have it. Humans are like, fuck, when's someone going to break off? When's someone going to do something? You know, but we have all these great ideas. Thing. Where, where is that location? Where's that physical location of, of where that's going to happen? Well, you know, that's why we have to, like, these universal laws and these, like, with the Declaration of, of Human Rights, we have, I think we're going to have to go take this to the, to the world court system and say, we want to break free. We want to break free, and we're going to create our own separate way of living. And we are protected under universal laws, and, and we are protected because of the UN. They signed this into law, and law and rights supersede laws, and laws supersede legality. And when we can present something and have, say, all these signatures, and we take it to like a world court, you know, like a tribunal court, and we say, we're going to break free. We're sovereign. We're not a part of this, and we don't. We, can, we don't want to participate anymore. Your jurisdiction does not like. We don't have jurisdiction over human beings. Yeah, we don't recognize. We uh, you don't you can't rule over us like you're just people. You're just humans. We're humans. You can't tell us what to do. Fuck you. <laughs> not of course we won't say that. But <laughs> But they have no jurisdiction. It's just a belief that they have jurisdiction. They just told everyone they have jurisdiction. That's why I call them the assholes. What do you think, Jody? What do you think, right. Elijah? Yeah, totally, total supremacy. People complain about supremacy, but they, they're okay with certain types. With certain mm -hmm. types. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess, you know, there's, there's people like us all over the planet. And, and all of us, let's say, philosophically do not want to participate in the old paradigm. And yet, the new paradigm isn't created. And, and you see, what they have is they have infrastructure. Yeah. You yeah. Know, thousands of years, the last hundreds of years of actual infrastructure that's in place with agreements in place that most of society are just going, hey, we got to go with something. This is what's there. So we're just going to participate with it, right? Mm. And, and not many, at least in Canada, seem that willing to have a real revolution or even, you know, say boo when this is happening. I mean, this this mask indoctrination that's happening in Canada, I went into this, the store yesterday, everyone in there wore a mask. And I was the only person in there except for one woman with no mask. And you know, Canada and Canadians sort of have this toe the bottom, toe the party line, go along with what's occurring in a manner that is scary. Yeah, it's very scary. I Like, I could not believe it could get so bad. I thought it was bad before. I never would have guessed. I never would have guessed that, that everybody would have gone along with this. But see, so well, Elijah, just, you asked me a few months ago where I saw this going, 
and I can, yeah, it's going exactly where I thought it would. Down okay. a very dark path. That? Okay. Um, do you want to keep going with that, Keisha? Oh yeah, I'm sorry, my internet is just choppy right now. Um, yeah, I said I saw it going down a very dark path. I told you that this was going to go from, you know, why aren't you wearing a mask to take the test to take the immunization and, you know, now since you don't want to obey, you should be punished. This mm. is a pattern and, you know, fear is the driving force of it. As, as soon as you're convinced that the next guy is your enemy and he's looking to harm you, even if all he's doing is exercising his individual freedom, then you'll be okay with seeing him even executed to save your own life. Mm -hmm. And I don't think I'm, I'm being, you know, I don't think I'm overstating how dark this can get and possibly will get if we just allow this to continue. It's, it's scary. Um, I, I think people really need to start rebuilding and just stop wearing them and refuse to take these tests instead of saying, you know, more, 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 and more, but the more tests that we take, of course the numbers are gonna go up. There's not a single test that is reliable anyway. This, this thing hasn't even been identified or, I mean, there's no real reason to even accept the fact that this thing even exists. There's no such thing as a magical bug that can build the system. There's no such, everything's a joke. It's just a lie. There's going to be something that has yeah. come from one of us and implanted into the government system that's going to, we've been working on so many different levels and they're going to enact something and it's going to show the whole world it's fake and show the whole world it's been a cover up. So every single person who wears a mask and telling people they're going to feel so fucking stupid and cheated and pissed off. And it's going to be like, wait a minute, it's not real. What do you mean? But uh, for the last year I've been, and people died from it because that was their intention for people to die. And mm. then they probably created some thing in a laboratory and they were meant to release it, but they didn't because we just wouldn't allow that. So the last time they exterminated 50 million people, was exactly 100 years ago for the Spanish flu when they inoculated 50 million people and 50 million humans died. That was the last time we gave them and said, yes. get your shit together. And they killed 50 million humans. We're not gonna allow that this time. That's not universally allowed. Mm. And I can tell you from experience because I remember being at that time telling them and saying, okay guys, can't do this shit, okay? Like, and so we're gonna enact something. Something's gonna come up so on the TV screen because people don't believe me and Keisha and Elijah and Jody. We're just a bunch of weird, crazy people talking about changing the world. They have to see it on their black boxes, and that's what we're gonna show it to them. We're gonna show them something on their black box, and it's gonna be 24/7, and it's gonna be about all the pedophiles and about the all the corruption and all their leaders and it's going to shock the world into awakening so how it has to be because they only pray to their fucking black box it's their god it really is that's how powerful media well i i hope that's you know feasible but i've seen um, the truth come out for a lot of different things, the Spanish flu being one of them, and 9-11, uh, but I believe once people have been, have accepted their indoctrination, that no, ma no matter how many facts you put in front of them, they will ignore them. I mean, I'm seeing that daily. I've had people on the phone with me literally agreeing, saying, yeah, you know what, you're right, it's corrupt to its core. And no, these people don't have any kind of, you know, right to rule over us. But then they get online as soon as I hang up the phone and start promoting their favorite candidate again. 
So I don't, it's, it's almost like they just lost the ability to think rationally or to hold a rational thought in their heads for long Those people aren't before crazy. they're, Those people you know, aren't convinced crazy. to get no. back into the program. They don't hold the light. We hold the light. People who have, who are connected, like people can say, oh yeah, I'm connected. But if they go up and say, oh yeah, the candidate, no. Like we hold all the light codes and keys to change ascension, not human beings. Human beings are switched off. We are switched on. That's because they mimic. They do, they do what they're told. They don't have an interconnection. We have the interconnection because we're interconnected. They are just they are physically disconnected. So they don't hold the light. They just do what they're told. So it doesn't matter what humans are fucking, it doesn't matter. You go let the kids play in the sandbox. It doesn't matter if they're killing each other. That's all going to happen. Who cares? See, that's how you focus you got to be and say, you got to speak our life into existence and create it and see it appear. Because creation starts two times, once in the mind's eye and then physically, so we speak it. And when we get together, we change the paradigm. It doesn't matter what the assholes are doing or what the humans are doing. It matters what we're doing and what we're talking about because we created this paradigm. As much as we don't want to take responsibility, we all created it. Now we go create something else. So hold steady, stars. Hold steady and know that, like, it does, it's already happened in the higher realm. It's just buffering right now. We've already won. We're the buffers for the 3D. Like when all the bullshit comes and all the hard energy, we're, the, we're like the trees and the scrubbers. We scrub and brush and, and buffer all the, the negative from the humans because we can take that and transmute it into light. So it's already happened on higher levels. It just takes this thing called time to happen like this in layers in the 3D. So, like, that's why you have to just have that feeling of knowing and, like, keep talking about positive things. Keep creating because there's no expansion or expansive thought in complaining. Like, if we have a c contractive ideas and contractive thoughts, there's no love and creation coming from that. So we have to expand us internally and project by talking about creating. With, and that's why me and Elijah brought you girls here because we need powerful females. To, who gives a fuck what's going on in the 3D? It's about what are we going to create? Who cares what we already created? That will... That's, that's the, cause people are tired of it. It's, it. it's a flailing energy that's just dying. It's called entropy. It got too big for itself, but it has a, a fail-safe mechanism. When, when the outer core gets too big, the inner core compresses, and it becomes into a singularity and an event horizon. That's why it's called the event. It's a fail-safe both ways. If it gets too good, well, then the dark will come out. If it gets too dark, the light will come out. It's entropy. It's, it's how it works. So I know I'm talking a lot. I want you girls to talk. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just trying to tell you, it doesn't fucking matter what's going on in the world. That's all bullshit. It's not mm -hmm. really happening. That's not really happening just because they're saying what's going on. Like, do you experience any bullshit in your life from that? No. But people, they think they're experiencing that because they're seeing it and they're hearing it. Neuro-linguistic programming. It's not really going on. Go look outside. There's no chaos. There's just beautiful, yeah. lush, beautiful air and trees. Jody, what do you have to say? Right. Yeah, no, I, exactly. I'm not, I don't pay attention to any of that because I, it doesn't, honestly, I don't feel that the U.S election uh, outcome affects me in any way it's the same <laughs> same bird same bird my friend so i know i don't i don't really pay attention to it and that's how i am breaking free from it i don't recognize its authority i don't give my attention to it and uh 
think a lot of people are at that point right now where they, if there was a place for them to go, if there was an alternative, they would, they would come, they would contribute, they would, they would help it grow. And then others would follow. I was wondering if we could lead that into Keisha, you speaking about your social grid, uh, your online network that you're trying, starting to build. Uh, because uh, Sean has 50,000 people in his Facebook group and he wants to change it. And, and perhaps part of that is, is, is coming into your grid. Keisha? Did we lose her? Hello? <laughs> well, um, Sean and I have uh, the Galactivision website where hey, we've got sorry, a couple... Sorry, Nope, yeah, back. Go ahead, Keisha. Yeah, go ahead, Keisha. Okay, what did I miss? <laughs> I was basically just uh, asking about your social grid and sharing that Sean has a very large group of people in a Facebook group, and maybe there could be a migration over to your social grid as, as a, a connection between your two gifts. That would be great. Um, I have been getting a lot of people signing up, but no one's really interacting. So it's it's like they're so used to Facebook, even though they're upset about it, you know, they complain about it. Um, they'll, you know, come and add a profile picture or a little post here. And it's like, I'm on there just talking to myself and I, I'm just gonna keep doing that. <laughs> um, I would love to see more interaction and I'm trying to add more features. I'm, you know, just trying to come up with ways to attract people. I've, you know, I'm, I'm adding everything I can to make it like Facebook as I, as I, you know, as possible. Um, the marketplace, I've got the learning center where people can just share information and I've got the groups, the forums, and I'm posting, you know, self-sustaining information as really what I'm gearing it towards, helping people get off of the teat of the government, stop relying on it, just eliminate the need from, for it from your lives. And that's my whole message. Just get them out of your business and figure yeah. things out amongst yourselves, each other, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I believe we can do that. I really do. And that's, I'm putting everything I have into it. You see, I, I put my debating platform on the back burner because it's hard to get people to stay committed to these debates once they have to sit and think about how they're going to present their case. And I'll, I've had people back out at like the last minute and it's very frustrating um, this last one I was going to have last week where I had a Biden supporter and a Trump supporter, and I just really wanted to get them talking to each other. So, you know, this person can see that this person isn't really just a racist. He really believed that Trump is here to save the world. And this person, you know, whatever Biden supporter believe in, um, you know, it doesn't mean that that person is just hateful. But the Biden supporter backed out at the very last minute when the Trump supporter was ready to make his case. Um, so it's just become very frustrating. I just totally let that go for now and Good. just focusing on my, my social grid and my Good. podcast. Good. Cause we don't need humans. So what I want to do is start people. interviewing people on the podcast instead of inviting them to debate. That's perfect, Keisha. I think it's yeah. good we stay away from people who see discord from another human because they're not, they're still in the system of good and bad and this Trump here, he plays a part, an intricate part to the dismantle dismantlement of the their paradigm. He's just a he's like a walk in now. Like he he's like, like we went to go talk to Trump, kinda like in the movie Time Cup. We went to go talk to him in his younger years and said, We need you. We came from a parallel parallel world and we said, we need you to help us. And we showed him future uh, videos and pictures and made him buy in, proving that who we were, and said, we're time travelers and we need your help. And so we've been helping him, assisting him for the last 20, 30 years. 
And um, so he's taking down and doing his part. And then something else is going to come after him to help. It's got to be in stages. You can't just open the whole shebang for the humans. They lose their shit. We can handle it. But they can handle very small increments of truth and change. Otherwise, they, you know, like they still need a, a, a ruler. and They still need a person to tell them what to do. Well, that's fine as long as that person has the better, better has the intention to help them. You've got to give it to them in stages. Otherwise, the whole thing falls apart. I don't know. So, but we just have to focus like Elijah and me and Keisha and jo- Jody and find others. It doesn't matter what's going on. That's still not what's going on. That's, what, that, that's what's going on with them. You know, like we need to like find people that attract to us and just start to build a new system. I, I'm wondering, Sean, in terms of what, what Keisha was talking about, her network, do you think it's a good idea to maybe uh, to look at having a migration from uh, in source to go from your group to her, her grid? Yeah, I mean, I see to like find out, like, is it an app? Is it a website? Is it an app? It's 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 like it, it's like Facebook. It's it's a full social media platform that basically is mirroring what Facebook. I has. didn't create an app yet, but oh my goodness! Well, once you get an app, because I have a guy who can build you an app. He builds apps, and he he's built friends of mine apps that are like what you're doing where you can go on and start posting and having a social app for higher minds. It's already built. It is? The app is? Okay. Then, yeah, I just got to start talking about it like with anything, you know? Like, imagine if we go in there. I'm in the process of building the app. I I created the website, but I haven't, I'm, I'm in the process of making the app. But right now, if you go to it, it should ask you if you want to download the AMP version and it'll add an icon to your um, mobile device and it acts as if it is an app. Gotcha. Okay, great. Perfect. Then yeah, we just got to start talking about it and tell people that we use it and go from there, you know? And just to let you know, we only have about seven minutes left. It's going to turn off again. And I think this could be the, the end of the this particular okay. portion of the show. So fun? we've got six minutes left, just so you know. Yeah, go ahead, Keisha. You talk. I talked enough. Or Elijah. Well, just you, saying, you, Keisha or Jody want to? Jody. Is she in the bathroom? I she was the bathroom. Um, yeah, you guys, uh, Jody, why don't you talk or you guys finish? We've got like six more minutes. <clears throat> um, yeah, I don't really have anything <laughs> more to add at this time. I'm, uh, I'm interested. What do you think of the name Planetary Guardians? Um, I think it, I think it would attract and resonate with a very specific group of individuals. Um, I don't know that it would, I don't know that it would go over well or get it, get the message across to people who weren't interested in galactic type of stuff. Right, just people who see the government as corrupt and and wanting to break free from the system and all that kind of stuff. Because right now, like if you look at it from the perspective of of somebody who's just a conspiracy theorist that hasn't really um, delved into spirituality or um, all of those other things, mm. uh, I don't know. They they tend to think that those people are are crazy and um i don't know Mm. just my that's just my first impression from it i think it's great personally i love it Mm. well what about project genesis because that's what i've been told 
is to create Genesis 1, 2, and 3. What if we called it Project Genesis? You know, like that's a biblical term that people might resonate with. And it's a project people like to enter in and join into a project. And the word Genesis means creation and new. So something like that, a more broader, where it would resonate with religious people and not in everyone else. Well, I was thinking like Planetary Guardians was the name of the media game. And then we could have, and it was organized by adventures. And so uh -huh. we could have uh, an adventure called Project Genesis. And then that could be sort of like you and I at the, at the meta level of me coming into Planetary Guardians because I've got all these systems that yeah. are very specific. And then you're coming in, let's say, as a, as a leader who's going, okay, well, this is what I want to do because the content is different from the structure. I'm just providing a structure. Yeah, yeah. That assist people That's who want great. to build new paradigm structures. I like it, man. Things are, I like new concepts and things that are wide, crazy ideas because those are the best ideas. And who cares what it sounds like right now? You know, I'm sure at first people thought, what, what the hell is the Facebook? That's stupid. Now look at it, you know? So. So then, and then maybe what we could do is inside of Keisha's my social grid, we could build the the Project Genesis and have the main communication system within what Keisha has. Mm -hmm. So that could be okay. a way of bringing together uh, what what the three are doing and Jody and, and er, Jody would everyone comes in kind of like how they want like within the Project Genesis there has to be some sort of way to bring people in uh to play yeah. the of the mm -hmm. i think it's great man i think this has been a good meeting and they're just gonna get better you know so you know like 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 i think this week i'll look for someone else jody you look for someone to bring in elijah you look for someone to bring in and we'll have keisha bring someone in Okay. And then I'll be four more people. So that'll be that'll be eight people. You could double, then, you could double each week. Double each week. And no, uh, and, and if you want me to send you twelve bucks, Elijah, so we can have these rooms for more than an hour, I don't mind, you know, contributing to it, brother. Yeah, I I have a, I have a um subscription. So if uh Okay. Yeah. You want me to host it? Yeah. Maybe we'll start a messenger group, and everyone can put their, um, yeah, and then I'll, and then I'll just put the the meeting link in the in the messenger group. Okay. Could uh, I'm so could sorry. Start? I can't hear anything any of you guys are saying. I'm gonna. Okay. No worries. It's okay. Um, I was just thinking if if Sean and Jody could join uh, Keisha's grid network uh, and take a look at it yeah we can okay communicate in there okay as yeah something to do in between and you start to take a look at it and start to go okay if we're going to do the project genesis what are we going to do yeah and um this week maybe i'll, I'll have jody or if you want to like we'll make a, a group and maybe we'll call it you know, the planetary guardian slash project genesis group. And we'll make it like a private group. Okay. And it'll be, and then every week, you know, we'll, we'll, of course, we'll have our circle outside of that. And then we'll kind of ask, hey, I got this project going on, you know, and we'll have some kind of a substructure where we, or at, at what we're about. And we'll say, hey, this is what we're about. Are you interested? You know, and we'll just kind of feel them out like we do everyone. And we'll invite them in and see if it's a fit for them. Okay. Okay, yeah. Way, it, have, it just called Planetary Guardians Project Genesis. Yeah, Planetary Guardians slash and then project or under that project Genesis. Yeah. 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 And we'll have a cool picture and maybe like a, um, like a, like a statement of what we're about, what we're doing. And then... Yeah. Uh,